Now, among the uh, crop of novice chasers, obviously it was uh, frustrating uh, to see Celestial Halo uh, you know, make his mistake after he jumped so well up to that point and indeed jumped well at home. So it's been a bit back to the drawing board, has it, with him? Yeah, yeah we scored him this morning for the first time, as you saw. It is back to the drawing board. It just worries me a fraction. that he, he, Yes, he jumped really well at home in the school and out on grass. And, and he's good, he's just, he sort of half panics a little bit when he gets in a sort of, when he has to think of it. And we spent two years, in effect, trying to get him really quick over his hurdles to get as much advantage as we can. And I just hope we haven't made him too much of a hurdler to, to, to make a good chaser. Saying that, if you'd, if you'd taken out all the other fences at Exeter before he fell, he, he jumped as well as you could expect anything to jump. And we've been a bit, you know, a lot of great winners at Exeter. It's a great trap to run novice chasers, but we've had a few horses fall there. Cordo Star, Shepard Turgeon, Sparazine. So it's not the easiest place, and he might well learn from it. So it's back to the drawing board, beginner's chase, and see how we go. And, and, and as a confidence boost, so that will do That's in the right, world. It's, it's all about confidence. We keep getting a nice clear round with him, and he just had a little bit more respect for what he's jumping. We'll be OK. If it doesn't, he'll go back hurdling. Now, American Trilogy is coming back from a year off and could be novice chasing, but he, he may well be seen over hurdles in the Elite for, uh, Wing Canton first. Yeah, I want to run him once over hurdles just because he's been off for a year and he's always one of those horses, again, he's, ex, he's really flatbred, that you wouldn't want to go and run him in a chase first time having not run over jumps for a long time and him sort of make a mistake and not like it. So give him a hurdle race and then that'll do him good and then go from there. Now, Definity is a, is a potential novice chaser we haven't seen for a year, and uh, we won't see him sort of too early on, but he, he could be well worth waiting for. Yeah, he missed all our season. Graham's been doing a load of pre-training with him at home. He's due back here any day now. I suspect he'll be ready to run in a novice chase just this side of Christmas. But, you know, he, he, he's the sort of horse who could be anything over fences. A picture of this looks as if stamina is going to be his forte when he ran on well up the hill at Cheltenham first time. Yeah, definitely. Um, he, he likes good ground, and he's always traditionally be a better horse in the spring. I suppose the four mile national hunt chase might be probably the best if there was ever a channel on target would be ideal for him. Um, and I, I could just see him develop into a horse. He'd definitely have an entry for the Scottish National. A song blur is a horse I know you think a lot of as a potential novice chaser. He seems to have grown enormously over the summer. Yeah, he's a huge horse as you saw. Big horse, he's only four, very weak still, just needs looking after. And um, as much as we want to win some nice novice chases, this year we'll be looking after him and he's a horse for the future. At the middle, straight. Gizaya, were you pleased with his first run? I was. It was a first, you know, he was one of the first ones that had a breathing operation in the summer, so he's a month behind the others. And I probably ran him a fortnight too soon at, at Cheltenham, but it, the experience wouldn't have done him any harm. Um, he jumped very, very well, turned in the straight, looking the winner, and got tired. So I think there'll be a lot of improvement in him, and look forward to running mm -hmm. him again. And would you keep him for two miles for the time being? Yeah, at the moment, I think he's got loads of speed, but he will step, he will get, I mean, we tried him over two and a half last year, and he didn't really seem to get the trip, mm. and I, I think at the moment, stick to the minimum trip and then possibly creep up after Christmas. Right. Now, Robinson Collange is a horse who hasn't, I think, shown you too much at home, so you must have been very impressed by what he did. A Robinson Collange, yeah, I mean, he, 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 he's a really nice horse, had one run for us in the spring, hadn't acclimatised, so we put him away, came in, and we were always looking forward to running him in a chase, running him in a chase, and he won very well at Bangor on his first time. What he beat, I don't know, but he couldn't have won any easier, and the plan is to run him in the Rising Stars at Wincanton, and if he if he won there and went well again, I suppose we could look at something at a two and a half mile novice chase at the Hennessy meeting, and then I'd be looking to give him a, a bit of a break till the spring, but he, he could be a really nice chaser.